Hi, this is a very easy After Effects tutorial on how to make a horror movie moon. What we're making today will look something like this. Okay, let's start by creating a new composition. 1920 by 1080. Click OK. And then a new solid. Just make it a black solid. Okay. Let's grab a still of a moon, drag it on top, and we're just going to go to the alpha channel here and solo the moon. And you'll see that we have a black border around the moon. We're just going to luma key that, put that on top, change the threshold, get rid of that black. There we go. Go out of solo mode and we have the moon in a black sky. Okay, let's scale that moon down. Hit S for scale. And just drag that over to the corner. Now let's grab some storm clouds. Drag that on top and we'll change the opacity. Hit T for opacity and just want to be able to see our moon with the cloud sitting on top. Okay, let's keyframe that. I'll hit P for position, click my stopwatch, move forward about five seconds, and we'll just have the clouds move that way a little bit. There we go. Okay, now we can also add this atmosphere clip I came across from Cinema Spice, which I use all the time. See, I'm just going to adjust the in point of that so it's a little bit more fuller when it comes in. And change the opacity a little bit. Okay, play that back. So we've got some clouds and a little bit of fog in the foreground. Okay, next, I'm just going to grab a picture that I took the other day of trees looking up at the nice nice blue sky which is easy to key out which we'll do now so we'll just go to key light drag that in take our pen dropper blue boom and already we have something kind of kind of interesting here okay we can also keyframe this one so p for position And we'll have move, this move the other way. Give us some, some interesting depth to the shot. So the tree branches move one way and the clouds move the other way. Okay, the other thing you can do, if you want to make it a little bit more haunting, is we'll just adjust the brightness of contrast of these tree limbs. Let's dump down the brightness all the way and also the contrast. So you get nice shadowy tree limbs. You can also add some blur if you want more of a depth of field kind of feeling. Where are we, Mr. Gaussian Blur? Drag that on top and we can blur that out a little bit. And we get this. The only other thing I did in this original shot was I created some rain using trap code particular. But other than that, it's pretty much the same idea. Oh, one other thing. You might want to add some color correction. We'll just add tint for now. Whoops. Now we'll go to uh, adjustment layer so we can tint everything. Okay, throw some tint on top. And then let's make it Maybe this color. That's a little strong, so we'll pull that back a little bit. Just add a nice bluish tinge to it. So there you go. Hopefully you found that useful, and we'll see you later.